Hi everybody, we're going to be looking at how to set your mirrors in a car and when we're driving along I'll be talking about which mirrors I'm checking and why I'm checking them. Hi everybody, if you're new to the channel click on that subscribe button and click like. So we're going to look at how to set the mirrors in the car and when we're driving along we're also going to be looking at uh, which mirrors we should be checking, what, why we're doing that. So we've got three mirrors in the car, you've got the two side mirrors, so on the right hand side there, when you look across towards it, you should be able to see what's behind you at the side of you and a little bit of the car next to us. And if, if, you're, if, if you're seeing the sky, it's too much, you're seeing the ground, it's too much, you're seeing across over there, it's way too much, you're seeing too much of yourself too much again so you should be looking at down there and looking at that mirror and as you glance across you should be able to see it but what, what you don't want to be doing is this moving your head towards it just look across that's all you need to do and the same with the left one look across if you're moving your head then you've set it wrong so look across and as you look across there you should be able to see that mirror and you need to adjust it so that um, you can see just a little bit of the car on, on the left hand side and the rest of it should be looking behind the car not to the sky, not to the ground, what's behind the car, okay? And that centre mirror, when you look in the centre mirror there, the, the rear view mirror, some people call it, if you're moving your head, and, and, uh, and you do an old, old wives tale, people say, well, if, if you set the mirrors wrong, you've got to move your head more. That's pointless. Just look in the mirror, set it properly. The examiners are trained to check these things. So look across, that's all you've got to do. Or, or even just use your eyes if you have to, you don't have to move your head much. Obviously, if you've got long hair coming down here and the examiner can't see your eye, then you might have to do a little bit of a head movement to make it a bit more obvious. But what I'm trying to say here is, with the mirror, the, the rear view one, you should be able to look in that rear view mirror and see exactly what's behind you in that rear view window. Anyway, let's get driving and we'll talk about what I'm going to be doing. So, setting off, have a quick look around, check your blind spots, check your left mirror, right mirror, right blind spot, nice and clear. We're just going to do come out this little bit of a, of a driveway and we're going to drive down there. Now, when we're driving along, there's lots of things you can do. So, we're going to do a, a right emerge at this little crossroad. So, we're going to check our sensor mirror, what's behind us. Now, there's nothing there. Check our right mirror, and there's nothing there. And do a right signal. And I can't see, so I'm going to stop. So, I'm checking my rear view mirror at the same time, checking the side. It looks clear, so I'm going to make a move. And we're going to do a left emerge at the end. Now to do a left emerge, sensor mirror, what's behind you, nothing at the moment. What's inside of me, nothing, followed by a left signal, checking the junction. It's important that you check the mirrors regular. And lots of people say to me, well, how regular do you check them? It's a, little, it's a bit like, how long is a piece of string? As regular as you need it. So on a roll like this, where you can see ahead of you quite clearly, you should have a glance in the mirror, and that's where assessing it correctly is fine, because if it's not, you're moving your head. So just glance across with your eyes. That's all you've got to do. A little bit of a little bit of head movement if you have to. And it's easy for you then. So we're driving down here and it's nice and clear. It's a little bit windy day, so I've got to watch out for, for debris on the road. I can see a little the stuff there. And I'm checking my rear view mirror, probably about at the moment, because it's quite rolled every 20, 30 seconds. Just a glance in the rear view mirror, see what's going on. Because sometimes some people come outside rolls and come up behind quite quickly. And I'm looking ahead of myself there. There's a grey car moving slightly on the left. There's nothing bad as ever crossing, but I'm slowing down for the speed bump. And I'm taking my time. And I'm checking my mirror again. Every time you enter a new road, check your rear view mirror. Check your side mirror. What's inside of you? See what's going on. That's all you've got to say. So we're, we're passing the 20 zone, I've checked the mirror, there's a black car behind me, speeding up. So keep an eye on what's happening behind you, you know straight away there's a black car coming. And I'm speeding up slowly, 30 mile an hour road, check my mirrors, look ahead of me. The guy on the left, so what you're doing as a perception at the same time, you, you're seeing if anyone's going to be dangerous for us. Now at the traffic lights, we're going to follow the road ahead, which is the left lane. So we're going to change lanes. So we're going to start checking what's inside of us. That black car still behind us, he's not trying to overtake us. I'm going to let him know of a signal. And I'm coming across. And we're just going to follow the road round to the, to the left. It looks like it's going round in a bit of a, 
S-shaped, so I'm going to take my time because it was quite narrow. I'm in second gear, checking my rear view mirror, following the bend at this point. And what I'm checking my mirrors for is that, that there's no one close behind me because if there is, I'm going to have to come off the gas early and start braking a little bit earlier than normal. I'm just going to follow the road round to the right. So I'm looking across to the right at the same time, checking my mirror, my rear view mirror that is. I'm going to do a right turn going down there. Centre mirror, right mirror, signal right. Try not to cut the corner. Looking down there, following it down. So we're going to enter 20 zone, we're going to do left at the junction. And I'm checking my mirrors. And the reason why I'm checking my, 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 my rear view mirror a lot is because I, I want to know what's behind me. Because if you're not paying attention to what's behind you, and I, and I don't mean like constantly staring in the mirror, that's wrong. I mean, check regular. So while I'm on the brake and I'm waiting, I'm looking what's happening. There's a woman with a pram wants to cross. There's a car there, so she, she might even chance it as I'm pulling off. So there's the people walking behind me. And I'm taking my time. And I'm going to do a right turn at the lights. So I'm checking my centre mirror, right mirror, what's behind me, what's at the side, well there's nothing there. They're on green, now I've got to keep an eye, there's nothing coming through, so I'm okay to go. I'm going to do a left turn here, centre mirror left, so what's behind me, what's at the side of me, there's nothing. And it's just getting to good habits of doing things safely. following the road ahead. Every time you come on a new road, just glance in your rear view mirror. See, there's a, there's a truck there, van. So you know what's happening because, just say for instance, um, you have to suddenly slow down, you've already know it back in mind what's behind you. So it's easier. But if you're not sure what's behind you and slowing down for someone who suddenly pulls out onto a main road, then you haven't got a clue what's next to you or what's coming up. So I'm checking what's going on. All three mirrors then. I'm going left at the end of the road. So I'm centre mirror, left mirror, checking that van's following me at the moment. I'm slowing down for the junction because I can't see, so I'm checking my rear view mirror. Nothing there, and I'm off. As I'm following the road ahead, there's a red light. I'm gonna follow the road ahead at the lights. And I'm just, at the moment, like I say, you can get used to checking your mirrors at a good um, intervals. When it's busier, and you, and you know lots of things going on, then you're more aware of what's at the side of you on your side mirrors because it could be you're, in, you're about to enter a busy roundabout. So you want to be what's, what's happening, what's next to you, especially when you're in the left lane because some people might try and cut across you. So every time I'm slowing down, or slowing down for speed bump, I'm checking my mirrors. Every time I want to go past um, something, I'll check my mirrors. Mirrors that guy's walking across. Come into the light, so I'm just seeing what's going on. There's nothing behind me, but I'm checking my sensor mirror, my right mirror, slowing down, getting ready for the lights changing. Yeah, straight into second. So I already started clutching then. And I'm going to go left turn, so it's sensor mirror left, nothing there. Let everyone know my intentions. I'm looking down the junction I'm going to go into. It's quite nice and clear. So I'm down to about 10 miles an hour in second gear. Keep it nice and tight for the bend. Looking at the road, checking my rear view mirror. Because I'm going to a new road because a car might, might be coming around me or just suddenly pull off the side of the road. If I'm going past a parked car, check my right mirror. Give them enough space to go past them. Check your left mirrors, come back in. Getting used to that. People say to me, why check your right mirror? Well, because there could be people overtaking you as you're about to overtake a parked car because they're not looking beyond you. It could be a motorbike, a learner on a motorbike who doesn't understand the rules very well. Or it could be someone who's in a rush who's just going to catch up with you pretty quickly who's about to overtake you. And if you're, if you're aware of them coming up fast by checking your, your mirrors, then you're, you're less likely to have an accident. Checking my centre mirror, right, signalling. Can't really see some slowing down. 
right, left, right. Going past the car, it right mirror, it's nice and clear. Look ahead of myself, and check your left mirror and and get into good habits. And if you're going to overtake a, on a dual carriageway, then check what's happening on your on your right lane. Don't just suddenly pull out. Good luck. Hope these quick mirror checks are going to help you. If they do, fantastic. And remember what I said. Every Monday I get a video release. And if you're new to the channel, click on subscribe. Safe driving and I'll see you on the next video.